We just finished testing the Axis A22. Now this is the uh, sister ship to the Malibu line, more affordable, and not quite as many bells and whistles, but all the performance and all the wake that you want. It was powered modestly with a uh, PCM 350, 5.7 liter engine, and really got good performance out of the hole, especially we were on plane in 2.8 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 6.2 seconds with a top speed of 38.4 miles an hour. This thing's smooth as silk. Has a great sound too. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Now Brian, I know last year uh, Axis really changed the dynamic of things when they added uh, Malibu's Surfgate option in there. I notice we still have that. Uh, what does that do? So Surfgate allows you to basically go from wakeboarding to wake surfing within seconds. You don't have to list the boat over to one side or the other, making it a simpler, safer operation for wake surfing. That uh, in combination with the hard tank ballast and Axis's uh, floating wedge give you a lot of versatility in the boat for wakeboarding and wake surfing. Now does that allow you to transition like in your wake surfing, does it allow you to transition from one side to the other too? It, yeah, it does. So you can you can be riding on the port side and go to starboard and, and vice versa. Same way if you have goofy and regular foot people in the boat, there's no shifting of weight adding to that versatility for the boat. Nice. Now where does Axis sit, uh, its sister company Malibu, uh, where does, what's the deal with Axis? Axis was launched in 2009. Same Malibu DNA, goes down the same line, same factory, but a little less frills to give the consumer a nicer price point option, but it performs the same prestige that Malibu is known for. Nice. Now what's this little hatch for? I was curious about that. So th this allows you to go down and, and pinch the pins to drop the manual wedge there. So that Malibu patented the wedge. Uh, it's a reverse hydrofoil device and that allows you to add another about 1,200 pounds of effective ballast displacement. So it sucks the back end of the boat down. And that's another way, I guess you can save money by having the manual wedge rather than the power wedge like exactly. you see in the Malibu. Exactly. Nice. Well, Brian, when I saw the new Axis this year, the one thing that really jumped out at me is how you've really upscaled the interior. You know, the, uh, the previous um, Axis's, uh, you know, I know that you're trying to keep the price point down. They were a little Spartan, but man, you guys have really upped the game here. Yeah, we've definitely uh, updated some of the textures and vinyl lines in the interior here in the A22. Um, just to give it a little bit more um, of a luxurious feel. Some, some new contours here on the interior. You still got your, your chillax seat here for some rear view. That pops down as well. And then your skybox seating to allow you to have a step here in the back and some more rear view seating here. Nice. This is the AW15 tower. It's new for 2015. Uh, it's a bit more streamlined. Uh, Easy to fold, four knobs, uh, folds down pretty easily. Great look. Well, Brian, one big difference between the Malibu and the Axis to me that immediately is noticeable is, you know, on the Malibu you have the big screens and everything, and here we're going more analog, it looks like. Yeah, so Axis, again, different between Malibu and Axis is a bit more of a, of a standard dash with analog gauges, analog switches, so a little bit like super bulletproof, um, you've still got your heaters up here and your dash as well, so these, these all pull out nice. for your heater option. Um, you've got your Sony uh, stereo with all wet sound speakers now throughout for 2015. You've got Bluetooth option on there as well. Um, and then for, new for 15, you've got uh, zero off GPS cruise as an option. Oh, nice. Uh, Brian, what are we packing for ballast in this boat? So in the A22 here, you're going to have 900 pounds of standard hard tank ballast. Those are all controlled right here from your fill and drain switches. Um, so you're going to have your hard tank that's all subfloor, so you don't lose any storage for those hard standard hard tanks. And then in, in Axis, you can also option for a plug and play, which is pre-plumbing off your same high flow pumps that the hard tanks fill and drain with, that you can add additional soft bags in the rear lockers and in the bow. Nice. Things are looking a lot different for 2015 up front here. Yeah, same pickle fork bow that Axis A22 is known for, but previously we had a crawl through here. Um, and now we've got the full walkthrough, so you've got a removable center cushion here. Still have your plug and play bag under the bow cushions here in the U shape, but it gives you a little bit more versatility for the people that like the full walkthrough. Yeah, very nice. For more information on the Axis A22 and other great boats, 
go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water. This baby corners. <laughs> <laughs>